Hi Book Nerds, I'm William Campbell Powell, author of Expiration Day, uh, soon to be published by Tour Team, April 22nd. As you can tell from my accent, I'm English. So, before we get started, I'm really sorry guys about this no taxation without representation business. Um, sorry about burning your White House, but uh, the new one's lovely. Um, but yeah, sorry. So, as an English writer, naturally I've set expiration day in an English village. It's very similar to the village I live in, except we're 40 years on in the future. That's a bad time for humanity. The human race is dying out. And the reason, which no one understands, is that there are no children being born. And the discovery of that fact triggered a really bad time for humanity. They call it the Troubles. It was riots, it was wars, it was near extinction of the human race. So, somehow, society managed to claw back to some appearance of normality. And part of that solution was the invention by Oxted of substitutes for children, robotic substitutes, which they call technoids. So, Expiration Day tells the story of that society told from the point of view of Tanya Dealey, who's growing up in a picture postcard village in the green zone, one of the safe zones of the world. She has friends, but they're not much fun to play with. Sure, they look like normal kids, but oh, really, she thinks they must be technoids, most of them. You know, the lights are on, but there's nobody home. So here we have it. Robots in an English village. That's my first contribution to the canon of robot literature. So let's move on. Here's the thing, those technoids, they do grow up, sort of. In fact, what happens is they get taken back to Oxted and equipped with newer, more mature bodies to simulate growing up. But come 18 years old, Oxted reclaims them back they go. Now here's a little excursion into some real science. There's a phenomenon called the uncanny valley which is all about how robots affect humans. The big clunky ones with red eyes uh, are a bit comic but they really don't um, set our teeth on edge. The perfect androids, well of course you can't tell those, but when you get close to the appearance of humanity, but not quite. It's really creepy. And just tiny differences are enough to trigger that response. People who laugh at the wrong point of the joke. It could be, so it's trivial, it could be an accident that uncovers that a robot uh, is lying under the skin. So more often, the technoids get returned to Oxted before they reach 18. There's a discovery at school that somebody's a robot, not a real child. And the parents can't stand the shame. They hit the uncanny valley. They pick up the phone, call Oxted, take back my thing that used to be a child. It's a time of really bad emotions, guilt, grief, anger. So, spoiler alert, Tanya discovers she's an android. You probably guessed that. She thought she was human though. Now suddenly she's a second class citizen. No, it's worse than that, she's property. And the clock is ticking. In seven years time, she's going to be taken back to Oxted. And that story, Expiration Day, follows Tanya's life through those seven years. As she rediscovers her identity, who she is, what's important about her. As she questions a purely biological definition of humanity. As she forms friendships, friendships that cross the boundaries between flesh and metal. There's love in there and loss. There's a bit of Shakespeare and there's some really red hot gigs. So that is my second contribution, a bass playing teenage robot. Welcome to the canon of robot literature. 
And that's Tanya and her society. That's it, book nerds. That's the background to Expiration Day. Not too many spoilers, I hope, but enough content to intrigue you. Thanks very much, and cheerio.